welcome to Onyi Sings Voice Detective. Welcome back, um, shoes, and welcome for the first time for anyone who is here for the first time. Thank you so much for coming by and joining us for the series. So, what is today's case? Why do I keep clearing my throat a lot? And before we actually get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. So please feel free to like and subscribe if you could. Thank you so much. Let's begin with what happens when you clear your throat. So a lot of us already kind of know that clearing your throat is bad for a vocalist, but a lot of us don't quite know why or how to prevent it. Well, when you clear your throat, your vocal folds are violently coming together. <laughs> that is essentially what is happening. Basically, your body will feel an obstruction on your vocal folds or on your larynx, and in its effort to rid yourself of the obstruction, it will violently vibrate your vocal folds in your larynx to get the obstruction to move. And so what that violent vibration looks like, I want to say in my first video I spoke about this, but I'm going to show you exactly what I showed you in that video as well with my hands. So when the vocal folds come together naturally, they come together quite relaxed and smoothly and evenly. So that's how we get a consistent tone. But when you clear your throat, what is happening? <laughs> yes, <laughs> your vocal folds are doing this to get whatever little thing that is annoying your body to move and go down your throat into your esophagus and away through waste. <laughs> yes, it does that to move the little particle or whatever it is that is causing the obstruction that it thinks shouldn't be there. And so you can imagine that's probably not great for your vocal folds, especially for any extended period of time. But let's get into what the dangers of clearing your throat are. It is trauma to your vocal folds, period. <laughs> like, just making your vocal folds move like that and come together violently is traumatic. It's a traumatic action for your vocal folds. And that violent action can beget more problems. Unfortunately, that kind of action can actually cause swelling. And that swelling then creates more opportunities to clear your throat. So it becomes almost a vicious cycle where you're clearing your throat and then you're causing irritation and swelling. So now you're clearing your throat and then you're causing more irritation and swelling. So now you're clearing your throat and the irritation and swelling are more of the short term issues that come with clearing your throat. But more long term issues are calluses, nodules and other vocal disorders that can become very serious very quickly. Also, throat clearing can incite excess saliva. And what happens when you're overproducing saliva? Your body is going to try to clear your throat because there's too much saliva in your throat. And so there goes another vicious cycle. Now I'm clearing my throat because of saliva and my body's overproducing saliva because I'm clearing my throat. And lastly, one of the big dangers of clearing your throat a lot is learning the habit. It can become an actual habit so that you think that you need to clear your throat all the time when in fact you don't and there isn't an obstruction at all. It's become something of a psychophysiological phenomenon in your body because you now have tricked yourself into thinking stuff is happening when it's not. It's very similar to when you have that ghost feeling of your phone ringing when it's not on your body anymore. But if you're used to having it ringing in your side pocket, sometimes you'll think, oh, my phone's, oh, wait a minute, it's not even in my pocket. Why do I think I feel it vibrating? Your body has become accustomed to or grown to the habit of feeling that vibration. So even when it's not there, sometimes you'll feel it. Even when nothing's there, sometimes you'll feel it. So here are some common causes for constant throat clearing. Dehydration. Always. Isn't dehydration like always the thing that I'm talking about? Always. <laughs> dehydration is one of the major causes for constant and consistent throat clearing. Basically, again, if you are dehydrated, your body will overproduce other secretions to make up for the lack of moisture. So then you'll have thicker mucus and more saliva, for instance. And when you have thicker mucus and more saliva, what do you do? You clear your throat. Also, coming off of an illness can also be a cause of constant clearing your throat. For instance, post-nasal drip is one of the big causes of throat clearing, if you can believe it, which if you've dealt with it, I'm sure you can. <laughs> In essence, instead of the mucus going out your nose, like we're used to, it goes down your throat. And when that mucus is going down your throat, what does your body do? It clears your throat, yes, again. <laughs> Another common cause for consistent throat clearing is actually learning the habit 
of consistent throat clearing. There are a lot of people, I know quite a few in fact, who clear their throat all the time simply because. When you mess up, oftentimes that's when you clear your throat or when I stop the person, that's when they'll clear their throat or right before they start singing again, you'll clear your throat or every single time, every one of those, like you'll mess up. Oh, wait, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> In that time, I did three, three throat clearings. You don't want to learn the habit of um, using clearing your throat as a way of psychologically resetting. And when it becomes a habit like that, because it doesn't necessarily interrupt your ability to live or speak or other things, it doesn't stand out as something that you probably want to fix, but it is something that you probably want to fix. You definitely don't want to be clearing your throat anyway, but it's worse to be doing it when you have literally no need and it accomplishes nothing except creating tension and causing problems for your vocal folds. We have to stop that learned habit. Other common causes for consistent throat clearing can be allergies, asthma, respiratory issues, and things like that, but also LPR, which I've spoken about again in many videos previously, but I will bring it up again. LPR specifically for singers is the reflex that we often get because of the way we breathe to sing. And what it means is that the acid that goes up during acid reflux actually goes all the way up into your larynx and your pharynx. And so it actually touches all the places that we use to resonate as singers. So if you have acid going up into your throat and up towards your nose, then you can imagine you'll be clearing your throat quite a bit. And if you're lucky, like me, you might have even experienced LPR coming all the way out of your nose. Acid coming out of your nose while you're sleeping, which is fun when you have a two show day the next morning. <laughs> so let's get into some tips for preventing all of this clearing of the throat and violent vibrations in your larynx. I'm just gonna say this once because if you follow me and watch my videos, I, I say this in literally every video, so I'm, I'm not gonna make a big deal this time. I'm just gonna say hydration, hydration. Another tip to keep from clearing your throat all the time is Stop clearing your throat all the time. I know it's so much easier said than done. That's exactly why it's a habit and that's why habits are hard to break. However, it is a habit for many of us and it is a habit we must break. And what that means is suppression, suppressing that need to clear your throat. I'm careful to say this because if you do need to clear your throat, if there is an obstruction, if there is a particle or something, definitely get it out of there. But there are other ways to also clear your throat without using the violent vibration. But we want to check in, especially if you're somebody who clears your throat a lot. What we'd want to do is swallow instead. Because if something's in the way, what your body's trying to do is get it into your body and out. But if you check all the common physiological causes and you can't seem to find that problem in your voice, there's a good chance you are creating the need for the clearing of your throat and there's nothing there. Now you have to retrain your body to not respond to the ghost sensation of something being on your throat. So you start having to teach your body, nope, nothing's there, we're fine. And that's hard to do when you're not sure. So make sure that it's not reflux, it's not respiratory issues, it's not I just ate or anything like that. If it's I clear my throat a hundred times a day, every day, no matter what, there's a good chance you're dealing with a habit that you need to break. And of course, you can always see an ENT and really make sure that if you are in fact dealing with consistent daily throat clearing, that there isn't something more serious happening. All right, we've solved the case, yay! We now know what happens to our vocal mechanism when we clear our throat, why we do it, and how to prevent it from happening. So that'll do it for today, Gumshoes. Thank you for joining me once again for another case, and I will see you at the next investigation. Bye! So here are some common causes for constant clothe cro cro clearing. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> common, cro common causes for cr constant throat clearing. Ugh. Why would I do this to myself? So here are some common causes for consistent clo clo clothing. So here are some common causes for consistent throat clearing. So.